Alrighty guys, um, just a quick mock-up of the uh, first stage here. Um, what we have is the uh, first stage here is a 10 layer coil of 18 gauge wire. Um, now on the, for on the, f on the f post I posted at, uh, on the thread that I posted at 4HV, says that I'm using, that I'll be using 16 gauge wire. Um, but I do not know if I'm going to stick with that. Um, I think I might actually go with 18, um, because uh, while looking over capacitor prices, I think I'm going to just opt out and go with uh, a lower capacitance than what I stated. I think I'm going to actually go with three uh, 470 microfarad capacitors for the first stage and just work it out from there. Um, so. But anyways, what we have is we have a voltage doubler here, voltage doubler circuit. Uh, power comes in from the main supply through a 1.2K resistor uh, into a voltage doubler circuit, which then feeds into this 1.1 millifarad uh, capacitor bank. Um, we have three clamping diodes here, which are just 1N5404 diodes. Um, that runs to my 500 amp triac uh, stack thing here, um, then into the coil, and then we got some triggering circuitry here. Um, as you can see, uh, it's being fed by six volts into a five volt regulator. We got the three out uh, of the LM339 comparator chip here. We got two LEDs to indicate when the stages are triggered, first stage and second stage. Um, unfortunately, um, I must have uh, did something to the chip when I desoldered it from the board that it was on, um, because when I turn it on, this LED lights up, and there's nothing in there. So this one works though. as you can see so yeah um... what we're gonna do is uh... just charge this up a little bit here for you guys I'm not gonna be able to do any real tests with it right now but i'll tell you that this coil right here can go through uh... three cans um... hopefully you'll just believe me on that um... but i'll make a video later um... so just gonna push the button here, and yeah. um, you've probably seen the little LED blink there. So, uh, you gotta remember these tests are only gonna be about at around max of a hundred volts. So, um, we're gonna fire it here but we're gonna watch the LED this time so yeah as you can see it did blink um, these LEDs are not the greatest um, using the blue LED that I was using before it went on like right away it was nice sharp and bright um, and it like went on just by putting the projectile in just a little bit so like as you can see I have to stick it in that far to get it to light up before like you just barely put the projectile in there with the blue LED and it turned on right now so um, we'll do a full test here uh, let that charge up all the way um, LED is pissing me off um, I did order new parts for a new uh, I did order all brand new parts for the uh, switching. Um, I'll be using a 3M or an LM393 comparator chip. So, um, and I went out and bought a whole bunch of uh, resistors today. Um, I've got 4.7 microfarad capacitor for the Mazzelli driver, a couple of 12 volt. Zener diodes, two 10K resistors, and two 470 ohm resistors. Still waiting on the MOSFETs and diodes and stuff. Uh, those will be here by next week, hopefully. So, 
But, uh, anyways, it should be fully charged now. Um, yeah, resistor's kind of warm, so. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one, fire. So, pretty much. Um, it does have a lot of power. Like, um, I don't really have anything I can shoot at. I can shoot at a cardboard box. That's not really going to do much justice. I mean, simple, tiny little coil gun can do that. But what if we do it at around 100 volts? Now, this is uh, a... Uh, what is it? It's 71 joules, uh, fully charged to 340 volts. So, gonna grab this box here. Did you keep box? We'll fire into the digi key box. How's that sound? There we go. Sorry for the length of this video, but... Okay, three, two, one, fire. Oh, that, that didn't work. Should charge it up a little bit more. Um... It's... I'm tired. It's 2.12 in the morning. 3, 2, 1. Okay. This is starting to piss me off. That resistor, I don't... My multimeter's dead. Like, the battery's dead. So... Like, it don't even have enough power to turn these, uh... Like, to basically light an LED, it barely doesn't even have that much power. Hardly. So, it's literally dead, gone. Um, why don't we use a different projectile if I can find one. Here we go. Um, here we go. We use a blunt type of projectile, because get a little bit more energy out of those, it seems. Anyways, it should be done charging by now. So, uh, three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, you get the point. That's some pretty thick cardboard, too, so... I mean, like, I squeezed this thing as hard as I could, and could barely dent the corners, so... Um, but anyways, that's all I've got for you guys right now. Um, definitely will, uh, make more videos as I get the parts and whatnot. Um, I'll do an unboxing of the parts and whatnot when I get them. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too long for you. Um, hope I didn't bore you to death. Um, but anyways, I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace out, guys.